local news now, a business, is in, a business is at risk while a man's life hangs in the balance as a war of words escalates between PNP caretaker for Westmoreland, West Turn, that's Ian Hills, and Member of Parliament, Moreland Wilson. Sandy Williams has the details. We have seen some videos circulating where persons are ascribing different suspicions and allegations to why these tanks are at these locations. In the viral videos circulating on social media, PNP caretaker for Westmoreland Western Ian Hills is making claims that Member of Parliament Moreland Wilson donated 10 water tanks from the Black Tank Project to a businessman. Exhibit A. I want to ask the JLP councillor for the Little London Division, Ian Miles and the member of parliament, more or less, Wilson. How the car wash across from the Jamaica Labour Party office, the constituency office in Mango Hall in Little London, how the car wash get 10 water tanks. Exhibit B. If tank come for farmers of Western Westmoreland, the farmer them forget the tank and not a car wash, or one person get five or seven. If tanks comes for the residents, for the citizens of Western Westmoreland, are the citizens forget it and not a car wash. But in a plot twist, Tomlin Dixon, the operator of the car wash in question, is rubbishing the claim. He showed TVJ News this document, which he claims is proof of purchase of the tanks. 504000 for nine, but I owe the guy for one. So we'll work out to 560000 Each of the tanks is 56000 I sell water right through the night, and people don't have to dare them yard for me sell water. I jump off the water in the day, them come and left the money at my car wash. Since the viral videos, Mr. Dixon says he's been receiving threats that his tanks will be slashed and possibly his life. Why well, take it serious? I'm mean, asleep last night, whole night I peep through that window watching my tanks them. Because I know I work hard night and day to save my money to buy my tanks them. So when people want to go ahead and say, Politician give me thanks and, and, and this and that. That's nothing, nothing to do with my business. I have no affiliation with, with those tanks. Those tanks are a thousand gallons, and as you can see, we are giving out. 650 gallon tank. The Tourism Enhancement Fund has provided a number of black tanks to be distributed to farmers who support the tourism industry. Mr. Wilson, who has already distributed more than 47 of them, has been storing the tanks at what he says is a strategic location in Negril. He explains the move is to cut the cost of transporting the tanks. So to transport a tank from this particular location in Granger, it's about $2,000. And that is compared to transporting the tanks from Little London, which is probably 15, 20 or nickel, which is 30, 40. Um, so this will go a far way in reducing the cost for transportation and the farmers. When contacted, Mr. Hills said he stood by his assertions in the video and would not be commenting further. Sandy Williams, TVJ News.